Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. It's lovely to see you all again. I have actually been so bad at getting on and vlogging. I feel like the last few days I've had some time off just to kind of relax, recharge, and now it's got to the point where my videos are pretty much going up the following day, so you guys are gonna be seeing pretty much real time footage of Christmas and the build up to Christmas. It's really cool that you guys are now up to speed with everything and you've caught up on all the previous vlogs and things but today is going to be a bit of a chilled one and this vlog is definitely going to be a lot shorter than other vlogs just because I've got lots of little bits to do today and I'm also going to be filming for tomorrow's vlogmas as well so if I look very similar then that is why but I just thought I would show you what I'm up to this morning I've got a few bits to do. I thought I would take you downstairs and we can sit by the Christmas tree. I can properly show you the Christmas tree in the daytime just to kind of give you an up close personal view of the styling this year, the theme, what we've gone for. I've also got lots to talk to you about to do with traditions and I thought it'd be a really nice way of documenting what we're doing this year and also disclosing traditions that we do in our family which you never know you guys might be interested in. I did ask over on my Instagram what other people's traditions were so it'd be really nice just to go through those as well and chat and just talk about Christmas traditions and different things that we're doing this year obviously this Christmas is going to be so different so I thought it'd be nice just to sit down and kind of disclose in a video format what's happening this year how we're getting organized whether we are organized or not it's nice to kind of be transparent with you guys about that as well so if you're new to my channel then hello my name is Alice Bradley this is my vlog channel so you're going to be seeing a lot of raw and ready behind the scenes um, footage of me and what I get up to in my family and day-to-day -day life so I really hope you guys enjoy these videos I'm absolutely loving vlogmas so far it's been so nice just to collate all these memories together and even just having the ones that I have already I know in years to come I'll be really happy that I've basically captured this footage in a moment in time so really happy about that so subscribe if you guys are new I also have a main channel which I will link here for you guys to check out and also in the description it's definitely taken a back burner in terms of producing content and getting lots of content out at the moment I'm kind of umming and ahhing as to whether to continue with two posts a week whilst I do vlogmas I think it's it's probably easier if I just do one post that kind of keeps a video going up on that channel anyway but it means that I can put a lot of focus into this vlog channel and making daily vlogs for you guys so that's what's happening over there there are videos going on there I've got lots planned for 2021 so that's very exciting but I thought I would just kind of give you a bit of a debrief this morning let you know that we are now pretty much up to real time with this footage so it's gonna feel very real and very relatable because it's literally coming out the day of or the day after so oh my goodness um but yeah it's really exciting stay tuned because today is going to be a nice one and obviously i'm going to be filming tomorrow's video today as well so lots of footage being filmed today so just quickly before i head downstairs i have been burning this yankee candle christmas eve non-stop lately and i just love the smell of this one it's so fragrant and beautiful it's a really nice soft scent as well so it's not incredibly overpowering it's just got a nice soft festive smell which is perfect because i find sometimes if you light a candle particularly the ones that are very sickly i do love a sickly candle but i find that when i burn them i get quite a bad headache whereas with this one I can keep it on all day long and it just smells incredible so I've been lighting that just to make my room smell really festive whilst I work this morning and um, yeah I think it looks really really pretty for the purpose of the video I've just closed the curtains there so there was a little bit of a side glare I hope you guys can see the tree I'm gonna do a proper close-up very very shortly after this sort of segment but I thought I would sit down and I wanted to sit down in front of the tree and just kind of get festive and talk about traditions, things that we do in our household and just things that are kind of coming together now that Christmas really is getting very, very close. So I've got a few little bits to show you, bits that we've picked up for Christmas. We do tend to get new pieces of homeware in the build up to Christmas. And I know every two years or so we do a rotation of glassware, of plates, that type of thing, because 
we live in a family of five and things get broken and we just like to use things properly and when guests come over we would typically give them the best sort of plates and, and glassware and things like that so um yeah it gets used and abused over time so we always tend to get new glasses things like that so i've got a little bit of a haul happening here i also want to show you some of the goodies which i was kindly gifted by guilt lingerie so i've got a few little bits a few samples and um, an item which i would love to show you and then i've got my rocker box uh, advent calendar to open so maybe I start with that first and we see what we can unbox today this is what's so lovely about having a calendar something to unbox it's just very exciting and because I share it with my mum we have like a day between each one so it feels even more exciting when we get a product so today is the 12th which you guys are going to be seeing this video hopefully later on so this is what I mean by um being caught up in real time like this this vlogmas stuff is wild it is it is but i'm just going to show you what is in day 12 oh i'm excited oh i can already see the brand yes oh my goodness a hair mask so i am definitely in need of a hair mask this is the grace and stella no more bad hair days hair mask it says rescue my hair which um i'm going to be using and i just love to use a hair mask this is again ideal for traveling it's like all this travel friendly products are being rubbed in my face and i'm not going anywhere so um yeah that's a bit unfortunate but nonetheless i will be using this probably in the shower um i might even do a nice hair mask in the bath on christmas eve because i tend to do that it's a bit of a tradition again leaning in to talking about traditions i tend to have a festive bath on christmas eve like i rarely have baths either if i'm super super stressed and i want like a full chill out or it's christmas eve or new year's eve i will have a bath and they're amazing i should do them more but um yeah i'm really picky with like the products that i put in the bath i love lush i find lush products are just amazing so maybe i get a lush bath on and use this in my hair so maybe that's what i get up to on christmas eve i can't believe how quickly it's all coming around but this is such a great product so exciting we're technically yeah we're technically halfway this is crazy before you know it it'll be over and i think that's what i quite like about the fact that i've documented all this stuff is it's just a way to kind of capture the memories and keep them going so continuing on to my plans for the weekend, traditions, things that we're doing in the build up to Christmas. We got this actually maybe two, two weekends ago, I wanna say, but every single year without fail, we pick up the radio times. Now, this is such a tradition that we do in our family. It's probably a widespread um, tradition that lots of families and people do, but we love to do the radio times. And we have this tradition, I'm just gonna tap on it so it focuses, but what we do is we go through each with a highlighter and highlight the movies that we want to watch. So for instance, I'll be a pink highlighter and I'll go through and highlight everything that I wish to watch around that time. Sometimes we'll have things that we all want to watch. I haven't actually gone through this properly. Um, oh, I'm already seeing stuff that I like not going out. What day is that? The second week, that's the 30th. Oh my gosh, this is crazy um i've skipped past christmas clearly but i'm not i'm not gonna lie i do really like not going out i think they're fantastic so funny um let's have a look at what's happening on christmas day or oh, on christmas eve as well it's just a really cute tradition that we always do like even if on the day we don't actually watch any tv it's just nice to know like what's going to be on and we would never do this any other time of the year i'm just kind of seeing if there's anything major happening You've got The Grinch on Christmas Eve. Let's have a little look. Oh, now we've got Christmas Day. Christmas Day always gets such a big spread. Christmas Day is always so exciting because you have the soaps. Um, they're like big finale episodes or Christmas episodes. I have to say, I don't watch any soaps, but there's something about soaps around Christmas. Um, they're kind of... I just super festive. I don't. I really don't know what it is because I would never watch it normally, like throughout the year. 
um, but there's lots of things on. This is really nice. I'm going to have a proper um, look through and pick out some things that I like to do. But that is a tradition that we do in this family and it's just so lovely. And it always sits by the coffee table so we kind of pick it up and I just have fond memories of the pages being folded on the days that were like, we have to sit down and watch TV, it's crazy because this year more than ever, TV is probably gonna be our salvation. I know we'll have that time to be with family and friends, but for some of us that aren't lucky enough to be able to be mingling with the people that they love the most, sorry, my neighbors are bikers. Um, yeah, it's the weekend, so they're doing what they're doing. If you can hear motorbikes, I do apologize. It's definitely going to be a year where we're just at home even more and I know that's the last thing that we want to do like hell I would love to just dress up and go to a nice bar and have a festive cocktail with my friends but um it's just not really gonna happen in that way this year so I'm just taking it as it is and um try not to get too hindered by it I think there's still amazing magical things to be doing um this year anyway so I'm ra I'm totally rambling as you can tell but I also wanted to show you, this is where things get a little bit cringy, but I was going through some photos which my friend had kept, long story short she did like an art project and she forgot she had them and they're all Christmas photos which I've been looking for for ages, um, turns out she had them so that's really funny but I just wanted to show you some pictures from Christmas, so this one here is me, I believe this, is, this has got to be 1998 but there's a Christmas tree behind, there's a, like a few presents there. I've got myself one of those little cars and oh my gosh, I'm so tiny. I'm literally Diddy. But yeah, that's a Christmas memory that I have. Um, and I'll explain why I have these photos here today in a minute, but I'm just gonna show you a couple more. So moving on to the other photos, which are all Christmassy. This is when I lived in Canada. So I lived in Canada between 2000 to 2004 my parents are probably going to correct me um but i'm pretty sure those are the exact dates um but christmases in canada were just another level of amazing and i have the best memories and i'm so glad that my parents filmed a lot and they captured a lot of moments as well on tape and we have these baby tapes which is what we call them we keep them all together and we watch them occasionally but it's just so nice to look back at these memories so this is a photo of me and my brother. We're out in the snow. That was our back garden. So, so cute. And that was kind of like the start of the, the snow, really. The snow got so much heavier and thicker to the point where I remember building an igloo tunnel in our front garden. Crazy. This is another photo here, which I'm going to show you. Oh my gosh, I could die. I can't believe I'm showing you this. But it's me in a turtleneck jumper, which I believe this brand, now this is so random that I can remember this, but I believe this clothing brand was called La Senza Girl, which is weird because in the UK that used to be an underwear store, but in Canada it was a children's clothing store, which is so weird. But this was like the first snow, so there's like snow falling in that photo. And I just love it because it just captures everything about Christmas to me. And it's a big memory. And I, I remember that jumper so well. Um, again, I wore it on Christmas Day because I loved it so much. Now, I don't know whether you can see, but this photo, this was on Christmas Day in Canada. And for some reason, it looks like an actual ad. Um, but I'm holding Twister. I'm really excited about it. And then you can just see my little brother there. Um, he's picking up his operation game, clearly showing the time at which these photos were taken. But I loved this game so much. Um, and also you can just see how big the Christmas tree was in comparison to my height because the trees were huge. Um, but yeah, very happy to see the fact that I'd got um, a Twister game. Again, this is probably, um, I've probably shown these in the wrong order, but it doesn't really matter. I just feel like I'm like reminiscing. I feel like who is gonna watch this, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Um, this is a photo of me and my brother. So this was our like second living room. So in Canada, it's super weird, but you have a living room attached to your kitchen area, but it's not your dining area. It's like a relaxing room where you have like your fire 
and this was the room which we used to get all our presents but there's me in my silk pajamas because i thought i was bougie as hell these decorations which i don't know why mum let us keep those up because my mum is such a perfectionist but these we made at school and we got to keep them up which by the way we still have and i can't believe we still have paper decorations that we made gosh 18 years ago crazy um and the last photo which i want to show you which kind of just sums up christmas and i keep looking at it and it's just making me think back to my younger self and how much has happened in life and how many christmases have gone by and how much life has changed but the innocence in this photo like it's just lovely so this is a picture of little alice again in her silk pajamas really happy because she got the bratz doll spa please let me know in the comments if you guys ever had that um it's weird because most of the toys which i remember playing with as a child are all things that i had in canada so I, it must have been such an intense memory because everything that i think about and remember i can remember all the toys that i ever owned when i lived there it's very specific and it's crazy how when you move away at a very young age you still retain so much memory of things but that's just a really fond memory that i love this video is already 15 minutes long oh my goodness me it's probably even longer because i had the intro as well i feel like i'm totally rambling but it's just really nice to talk about christmas memories and traditions so the last couple of christmas traditions that i just want to mention before i move on to the items which i received and bought um i want to talk about something which i do every year and i've done since 2013 i haven't actually got the newest book but this is the one that's pretty much done and i'm just kind of adding maybe the last year i really low-key don't want to put 2020 into the next book but this is my cat kidson christmas organizer now before you realize how much of a nerd i am about christmas yes I like to document everything that happens about Christmas each year in a Christmas organiser. I love this book so much. And this was actually a Christmas gift from my grandparents in 2013. And I was so glad to receive it because it's a tradition in my family. My mum did it for a brief period. My nan did it and has done it all her life. And so has my great grandmother. But we've written in a book about everything that happens at Christmas, how much things cost, what we bought each other so we don't repeat and buy the same things next year this book is essentially the modern day version and i've got seven christmases worth of stuff now in this and it just melts my heart when i read it each year and there's people in this book that are mentioned that are no longer with me unfortunately and it just once again captures a moment in time and it's it, honestly i could get emotional about it but it just makes me feel so blessed to have had so many christmas memories and i look back at things and there's christmases where things went absolutely wrong which i thought i would read maybe one or two extracts from from this organizer um but you you forget you forget these crazy christmases like there was one christmas which i'm gonna read about now um i believe it could have been 2014 maybe even 2013 yeah i think it i think it actually was christmas 2014 but i'm just going to triple check but we had no power because we had storms the whole christmas and christmas eve i think we lost power and we had to um cook all our hors d'oeuvres all our food up because essentially the fridge and the freezer had broken um because we didn't have any electricity and i remember we had to drive all the way to my grandparents house to give them our turkey because our turkey was gonna go off um and i put it all in the book so let me see if i can find it oh my goodness so the first year was actually the year that we had all the power cuts so christmas 2013 i put perfect christmas with a slight hiccup on the 23rd power heating wi-fi underlined um phone signal all went out and we experienced 25 hours of no power it was a very charles dickens-esque christmas eve bagatelle by candlelight so we had a bagatelle game and we played that all day and all evening because we had nothing to do and i remember you couldn't even message friends like back in the day like 2013 i think i had a blackberry and there wasn't BBM, BBM wasn't working in our area or something. Um, 
I put Christmas Day, Amazing Presents, Record Player, Kindle, Clothes, etc. All fab. So because this was the first year that I ever wrote in this book, I kept it really like short and sweet. I wrote Christmas Breakfast, Eggs Benedict with Baby Sham, with the special Baby Sham glasses. Christmas Dinner at Nan and Grandad's, Four Bird Roast, was very citrusy and a new experience. Yum because we always have turkey so that was like a new experience so then I put opened presents with family Gaga being impatient opened his so quickly whereas the rest of the family were going one at a time so Gaga is no longer with us so to read that it just reminds me of him and just his whole character so that's really funny and then it says best Christmas wrapping paper award goes to Ben enclosed so in this book I keep all sorts of things so anything from cards to tags which have handwriting on I'm so sentimental um one might say that I'm a bit of a hoarder possibly but um this book is just so lovely so I'm gonna try and flick through it because it's quite hard it's actually so heavy now um and I've taken out a middle section which I would stuff all my wrapping paper in I've kind of kept that separate now because it's just too heavy but this is the Christmas organizer it's so cute I believe it might still be on Amazon but each section is listed out. I have Christmas card list, which is so funny because, oh, I don't even know if I write Christmas cards to those people anymore, if you know what I mean. Um, Christmas card greetings that I like that year, things I need to do this Christmas, so like bucket lists. Um, I'll go to a nicer section which has got more stuff in it like this is how random I am one year I kept the quality street wrappers because I thought the quality street wrappers were going to change they might do um but I kept them just in case um yeah a bit of a hoarder here let me get some stuff so I'll show you Christmas's past so I've got lists here of people that I've bought for in the past so I could say in 2013 I bought my mum a skirt from River Island and some Topshop gloves um so funny when you look back at what you actually bought people and you think why did I do that or um yeah I can't believe I'm not buying for them anymore but yeah there's a lot of a lot of nice fond memories in here it's just really fun to look back at and also each year I always write things that I don't want to forget or things that were a waste of money or just things that maybe we should think about for next year so one of the things which I'm going to be doing this weekend is this recipe by Jamie Oliver so I've got it printed out and stuck in the book because it's his get ahead gravy now if you're making turkey for the first time this year or you're in charge this year make the get ahead gravy oh my god amazing gravy but you do it way ahead of time like we're halfway through we're going to freeze it and keep it ready for the big day so it's a jamie oliver recipe i will link it below in the description so you guys can check it out but i may even be vlogging it for tomorrow so we'll see um or the following day so you won't want to miss out on that so another thing that i do every year is kind of tear out inspo and just stick it in the book basically anything that's going to inspire me for future christmases to come um it's just really nice really nice to have these memories and moments i have written quite a lot in this year's book which i was feeling quite deflated about this year i thought there's not going to be much to write but actually i thought it is what it is and that's what i have to document because maybe in five years time I'll want to look back at that and think gosh I can't believe we survived that Christmas and we made it work and and we did all these things and it was still amazing like back in 2013 we still had a perfect Christmas even though there was no electricity so it's wild but I just want to show you the back of the book here which I have so many things stuffed in so like little things for instance which I'm not going to I'm gonna try and cover up my dress hang on this is quite difficult so my family in America send over Christmas cards every year and for some reason they have the prettiest stamps and they always get stamped with like happy holidays when they get sent across so I like to keep them because it's just a really nice memory of them sending Christmas cards over I always keep wrapping paper cuttings so this year's paper is this gold um, and white paper here so i know that that is what happened that christmas 
I keep anything from recipe cards to um, little cuttings from newspapers like I said and showed previously like the get ahead gravy that was from a newspaper so it's just nice to kind of keep it all together and looking back at my grandmother and my great grandmother's books it's just really nice to reflect on um, Christmas's past and I can't wait to hand this down to a future generation when I'm old and grey so that's basically it and I know I've probably chewed your ear off we're talking about Christmas traditions but if you're looking for something new to start I would love to just offer that as a suggestion because you don't realize how much happens around the Christmas period you forget very quickly what happens like if I'm really real about it I couldn't remember certain specifics of last Christmas but it's nice that I have the book because I can really just remind myself and jog my memory so that's what I love about the Christmas organizer I will link as many organizers below as I can again I'm not sure if the Cat Kids and one is still available, but I know she has a newer one. So maybe I'll link that below as well. But that's all for the Christmas traditions. I've opened the curtains slightly more just so you guys can see me a bit better, but I have got some exciting things to show you. I thought firstly I would show you what I received from Guilt. Now I popped in there and I absolutely love the guilt team they're fantastic if you are in the petworth area or west sussex area head there they have luxury lingerie and accessories swimwear i know we might not be like going away but if you're looking to gift someone with something beautiful to take away with them then head there because there are so many things they had the most beautiful stella mccartney swimwear so i'm going to link my vlog in the suggested because I vlogged it and I just I honestly wish I picked it out because it was so perfect I know I'm not going anywhere anytime soon but it was just like the dream one piece swimsuit like oh my gosh on my wish list but I was very kindly gifted a few little goodies from the girls in there and I just love them to pieces so I thought I would firstly show you what I received for my masks and my sunglasses so this is the Cotty Vision glasses chain. Now I'm going to take this off. I should probably have got a face mask to show it to you with. But oh my goodness. I firstly love chains in general. I've started wearing them a lot more with my sunglasses. But just to give you a closer up look at what the chain looks like. It's this beautiful sort of turtle shell print all the way along on the chain. It's got this fantastic clip here. So what's brilliant about this chain is you've got the little sunglass holder there, but you've also got a clip which will enable you to clip it onto your mask. I went for a nice nude neutral tone because I wear a lot of neutral tones in my outfits. Something like this, for instance, if I've got my mask on and then it's just sort of hanging, it's going to look so chic. You can also have it so it sits behind you if that's how you like it. But I just think it's so fabulous and just definitely something that I wanted to get my hands on. And I was just so lovely that they gifted that to me as well. So a great gift idea if you know somebody who likes to bougie up their mask. I also received, now let's get this open because I've got the um, note cards on here which say everything about the scents. I've got some samples to try, which they have the full sizes in store, but they were very kind enough to gift me all of them to kind of work out which scent was my favorite. So we had a bit of a conversation about what our favorite scents were. I love oody musky scents. I love fresh sweet scents. I love the occasional rose scent, like Gucci Bloom is probably one of the only like super floral scents that I just adore. I haven't had that perfume in forever, but I just thought I would show you some of the um, fragrances here. So let's get that to focus. So they've got really cute little samples. There. Obviously these are just samples, so they're super mini, but I thought I would just read to you what the fragrances are. Now I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, but this is Ruth Mastenbroke, I believe. Um, and she's a UK London based perfumer. Now this is fantastic to know that everything is made in the UK. Everything is sourced locally, so it's just fantastic. If you know somebody who loves to purchase from local brands and people who work within the UK, then that is fantastic. This would be such a lovely gift, but 
I'll just kind of break down the five scents here. So we've got Signature, which has pineapple, blackcurrant, pink pepper, rose, lily of the valley, patchouli, and oak moss. We've got Amarosa, which has watermelon, violet leaf, tuberose, danglang, amber, and vetivert. So that's a really lovely one that I can imagine would be quite summery. We've got Oxford, which I think would probably be one of my go-tos. Bergamot, basil, jasmine. I love jasmine. Clary sage, lavender, vanilla, amber, and oud. That sounds amazing. Maybe I try that one out. Let's find that one to try. You've also got fire dance, which again is very oudy. I've smelt that one. And then dagian or da dagian. I'm really sorry if I've butchered those. But that has lime, mint, grapefruit, mandarin. So that's more of a citrusy kind of smell. But I'm going to smell Oxford because the bergamot, the basil, the jasmine, that's my kind of scent. So it's just a little sample here, but I thought I would just spray it on camera for you guys. Let's get a little whiff of that. Oh yes, that, oh my gosh. That is beautiful. You get these like hints suddenly of lavender and then jasmine. And then the basil comes through, that is beautiful. Wow, okay, I'm already... <laughs> I'm already won over. I'm such a scent girl. I collect so many fragrances, but that is honestly amazing. So Oxford, I think, is probably going to be my top pick for that. But if you're looking to gift someone with a nice UK sourced and based product and brand, then head to Ruth Mastenbroke's website. I'm going to link it below for you guys if you're interested. So finally, to kind of bring this vlog to a close, I'm so sorry for actually how long it is. I thought this vlog wasn't going to be that long, but I'm so glad that I'm splitting today up into two parts because this video would just be crazy. But I wanted to show you what we picked out from Zara Home and also Lakeland. So firstly, I think these are from Lakeland. I could be wrong, but my mum picked these out. I've just taken the lid off so you guys can see. But we wanted to go for something to sit at the table to kind of go around our centerpiece for Christmas Day. And these little gold candle Christmas trees are just the cutest thing you've ever seen. They're so wonderful. There's something quite magical about candles at Christmas. And we have a bit of a family tradition, once again, of just trinkety candles. And um, yeah, we never really burn them. They're just for the visual aesthetic. But I just thought I would show you these. I'll try and link them below. Um, I'm sure my mum knows where these are from. I actually don't. Um, but I think they could be Lakeland. Um, but these, however, I do know are from Lakeland because we went to Kingston, which you would have seen in one of my previous vlogs, and we went to quite a few shops. We were looking for Christmas gifts, but also um, stuff for Christmas Day. So I just want to show you how cool these napkins are. They're pre-folded, ready to go. So they're going to sit on the table like this. Um, I'm really sorry, it's not a very clear picture because it's reflecting. But they're cute little star napkins with stars on. I just think they look fabulous and are such a nice way to decorate the table without putting too much effort in and, and faff if this year we're not really entertaining anybody, we're just having a family Christmas. So this will just be lovely to have on the table in general. I will link these below. They come with 12 napkins, so there is enough to set the table with, which is great. So really happy with that purchase. So also from Lakeland, we decided to go for this star print table runner and tablecloth. It's gonna look so lovely. It's really, really simple. Just basic white with gold stars. Just super, super cute. I am so happy with how easy this is to purchase and the fact that it just kind of gets the job done very quickly. So love the look of this. I'm then moving on finally to Zara Home, which I've been dying to show you these. Now, we wanted to go for something quite simple and stripped back, something that if we really wanted to, we could use it um, throughout the year as well. But I'm so excited to show you what's inside. We've purchased six of these and I just think they're so beautiful. So these glass tumblers only cost £2.99 each, which I think is fantastic for Zara Home. They're really super simple. They're lovely because they've got the slightly dented glass. So you've got this lovely effect going on. And what I love about the shape of the glass is how it V's out slightly. It's a really flattering looking tumbler. So the next glasses that we picked out were the exact same but just in the taller shape 
I really, really love these glasses. These are gonna be so nice to have juice in or an iced coffee in for breakfast. They're just the perfect glass and I just think they're really simple but they just work so well. So we picked up again six of these, only $2.99, absolute bargain for Zara Home. So I'm really happy with these. I will be sure to link these below as well. So that's everything for today's video and vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a super chilled one and very, very chatty. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Thanks, week.